Okay. Hi. Hi. Uh, I'm Ray, and I'm the founder and CEO of Food Nature Farms. We are a vertical indoor farming company, and then we focus on producing edible flowers, lettuce, and microgreens. So, what uh, do we see here? This is a vertical uh, cultivation system, a grow pipe that we develop ourselves. It has a, uh, we create our own mobile ourselves as well. The main benefit with this system is that uh, it doesn't clog, uh, fast water circulations, and there's a lot of aeration inside a grow pipe. It's quite easy for maintenance as well. Is it good to circulate water when you grow uh, vegetables? Yeah, but usually the faster the better. We realize there's uh, actually a better, higher yield with a higher water circulation. So I thought you could just put a little water and it'll be fine and that's it. Yeah, you can do it as well. It survives, but it doesn't grow fast enough. And because you see there's a lot of air inside the water, so there's a lot more aeration for the root zone as well. So it's much better to circulate. Mm -hmm. And what do you do down there to the water? Uh, so right now it's just a demo setup, uh, but in our system we actually have a dosing system. And uh, in our farm we actually use aquaponics as well. So what do we see here? Um, and you got an award. Yep. 2023. Yep. Uh, so what do, what do you show here? So this is our control system. It's called Adams 3.0. What it does is connect all types of sensors and then we can control it with a mini PC. And uh, it's wirelessly connected so you can control it anywhere. Here is the dashboard for monitoring all the parameters that you, it's required. And this is the control UI. All right. Is it a special board here? Yeah, we tailor made uh, ourselves. This is version three already. Uh, we want something that can replace a PLC that's uh, suitable for not only for farming and also for IoT, prop tech, and other applications. What's the CPU? Uh, it's ESP32. So it's um, uh, it's an ARM CPU. Uh, yeah, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. I have to ask the engineers. Expressive. Yeah. Expressive. 32. Oh, it could be a risk five. Yeah. We don't know. I'm we'll not see. sure, but I can confirm you. Have, how many colleagues you have? Uh, we have three engineers in the team, but in our office, we have 14 people. All right, so later yeah. in the video, we can get more details on that. What is this here so happening? So this is how it works. So this is like, let's say, this is a dosing system. This is a fan, valve, and pump. Uh, let's say we want to open the valve and pump some water around, or let's say if we want to adjust the pH or add some more nutrients, we can just dose it manually, or based on the parameter we set, based on the sensors, sensors reading. What is this machine? So it's more like a dosing system. Let's say in a hydroponic setup, there's usually nutrients around. So you can put it like, this one is for buffering the pH. This one is for adjusting the nutrient density. Yeah. So let's say if you want to adjust the fan speed, you can actually in, like, increase it. Uh, also based on the temperature or different type of sensors, uh, sensors readings. Nice. And uh, is this real time? Uh, so no, this is like a, this is our farm in uh, Kwai Chong right now. It's an indoor farm. We came from a greenhouse background. Uh, because of climate change, we had to switch to indoor farming. Because of climate change? Yep. Uh, because in Hong Kong, it's way too hot right now. And uh, it was destroyed by a typhoon in 2018. Uh, it got wiped out. Uh, we, run on a, we ran on an aquaponic system, so all the fish were killed. Uh, our plants got wiped, pretty much the whole farm got wiped out. Uh, so we realized we, if we want to continue our farming business, we have to switch to indoor farming. There's another typhoon recently here. Yep, no? exactly. That was not good. Uh, it's fine for us because we are indoor. So now everything's fine, but it was not good for nope. other people. No, no. And there's like another main issue with Hong Kong is flooding. Uh, there's uh, too much rain in Hong Kong, apparently. And uh, it gets too hot anyway. So the winter is too short, the, win uh, the summer is too long. Uh, so it's not good for growing like crops like lettuce because lettuce prefer 24 degrees and below. So uh, could it be that in the future there'll be some of these skyscrapers on the Hong Kong skyline that'll just be full of vegetables? I hope so. I hope so. <laughs> Would that make economic sense? Uh, for us, it does. Uh, but it also depends on our business model, how fast we can scale up and also how fast the return can be. All right. Uh, they should make a huge building with uh, Bjarke Engels architect mm -hmm. and they should just call it the carrot. And oh, it yeah, should, yeah. should be huge. <laughs> okay. yeah. But usually those are concept stage stuff. Uh, we are pretty practical. We work on warehouses. All right. Yeah. Uh, is it a, a risk 5 CPU or is it an ARM CPU? ESP32. ESP32. So it's a... ARM CPU. ARM Cortex. ARM Cortex. ARM Cortex. Okay, cool. Thank you. All right. <laughs> cool. All right. That's awesome. So, cool. so do you work? Do you want to work with people around the world, or you, f you focus in the Hong Kong market? So or? we are expanding to uh, the Middle East right now. We are also looking into projects in Singapore and Malaysia, right now. All right. Yep. And how much stuff is happening in this industry? 
a lot. It's quite happening and from LED lights, uh, the way you grow stuff, micros, nutrients, system design. It's just it's a lot happening right now. All right, to uh, to uh, not use too much power. Yeah, yeah, Efficient. energy consumption, energy if, uh, optimizations, uh, how you, like, let's say how you design the LED lights, how close you place the LED lights to the plants, how do you do the harvesting, how much energy you can save based on LED design. Uh, there's, so there's a lot to look at. What, how do you do the harvesting? So right now, uh, because we're a, sort of like an ESG company, so we hire the mentally handicapped person to help out at the farm, it's done by hand. All right, by hand. In yeah. the future, it could be some kind of robot? Yeah, we can do it, but it, because in Hong Kong, the warehouse is pretty tiny, it doesn't make sense to use robotic yet. All right. All, uh, all this amazing food in Hong Kong, where does it come from? Mostly import from everywhere else, because Hong Kong, we don't really focus on agriculture yet, uh, because back then, like 30 years ago, the government wanted to focus on the finance sector, medical sector, so we don't really focus on uh, the agriculture sector, but now it's coming back. Everything coming from China, from China, uh, everywhere, Indonesia. Hong Kong, uh, yeah. China, Thailand. Europe, US, Australia, uh, yeah, everywhere pretty much, yeah.